Hey everyone, here it's Alex from The Daily Packers. In this video, we will share with you our experience in Northern Norway. Well, in February 2023, we decided to travel to a place where we could experience a real winter, unlike our rainy winter in France. For that, we flew to Tromsø in Northern Norway. But as we wanted a more unique experience in the city, we opted for four nights, two and a half hour away from the city. We found an amazing cabin located in the Kafjord municipality in the Lingen Alps. The cabin was really cute and made only of reused material. We loved it. It was not only super cozy, but also really comfortable and well equipped. The cabin is on a property of three buildings. One house, rented yearly to a Sami person, the cabin rented as an Airbnb and a barn. Inside the cabin there was two bedrooms, one main area with the kitchen, living room, a reading area and a porch. We loved the fact that there was candle everywhere. As the nights are still quite long in February, it was really cozy in the morning and at night with all those candles. The cabin was also super well equipped and during four days we cook all our meals there. As you know, eating out in Norway is super expensive. A regular meal in a restaurant ranged from 20 to 30 euro per person. For grocery, we went to Rema 1000 next to Tromso Airport. That was a huge supermarket. But in case we needed something, there was also a small supermarket 10 minutes away from the cabin. While there, we tried some local food like Brunost, which is a Norwegian brown cheese, and Lepse, a potato flatbread. After, as we avoid eating meat, well, we mostly made all our usual dishes that we make back home. The week we were there, the weather wasn't the best. When we arrived, it was raining, so there wasn't lots of snow. Thankfully, it was snowing later this week. As it was mostly cloudy also during our stay, we enjoyed the accommodation. The reading area was quite nice, we brought our own books, but there were lots of them in the cabin as well. It was also nice just to enjoy the view from the windows, the fjords are so breathtaking. And as always, we took some time to stretch and do yoga. One of our favorite things to do was to make a fire. It's not something we have at home, so we really enjoy it. Our host gave us some wood for free, which was nice, and told us that there were some more in the barn if we needed it. In Norway, nowadays wood is not used anymore, because it's just too expensive and electricity is cheaper, so houses are mainly heated with heat pump. Yet, you can still buy some wood in the gas station, it costs 15 euro for a bag of 9.5 kg. The best way to get to the cabin was by car. We personally rented one at the airport. It takes 2 hours 30 to 3 hours, depending on the road condition to get there. But the cool thing is that you follow the Northern Light Road. Driving is fine, as long as you are careful. You can drive slowly. If you are not comfortable, people won't mind, and you can just stop on the side of the road if you see that you have too many people behind you. When we arrived, we had a small incident actually at the cabin. While trying to park, we got a bit stuck on the snow. Our host came to help us and also taught us how to park properly. After that, it was much easier and we never had any more problems. What we also liked about this place was the access to the fjord. The property has a small beach on the other side of the road, so you can take small walk there or just enjoy the view from the fjord. And finally, as you are in the fjord, you have direct access to lots of hiking. We did one right behind the house and it was amazing. We also did some other one around and there are tons of nice trails to follow. But be sure to have snowshoes or to rent them from the host. We will surely be back during summer to enjoy hiking in this area. 
Well everyone, that will be all for this video, we hope that you liked it, don't hesitate to follow us or comment the video, have a good day, bye!